Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life vlog. This week is definitely more chill than last week. Last week was the end of South by Southwest, so if you guys are new to my channel, I live in Austin and every year, well, usually every year, not last year because of COVID and I was heartbroken, but they have this thing called South by Southwest. It's kind of like a tech music festival arts installation kind of thing and it's just really cool and I had such a fun time going to like all the events and just like bopping around the city with my friends. It was awesome and I wish that there were just like more events like that in general and I'm hoping that it does happen more often because I feel like things are just like opening back up and everything so I'm very excited for that but today I have a couple of meetings starting off with a meeting with my assistant we just like to have like Monday calls just to like go through what needs to get done this week what we got done last week and just kind of catch up and then I have a call with a brand after that I'm um, just you know briefing on the campaign and everything like that I'm sitting in like my filming room slash office but I can't even use the desk right now because it's so embarrassing but there's clothes everywhere everywhere how did i let this get so bad i'm so mad at myself so i definitely need to like fix this i don't even want to say that i'm going to do it today because i actually have a lot of things to do today um i want to film a video i want to edit a video i need to edit some photos for a client because i am a photographer on the side and there's just a lot of things to do today but this will be done this week for sure um, but I'm gonna go hop on the call with my assistant and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. It's literally 5.50 and I forgot I was even vlogging. I've had probably the busiest day I've had in a while and I didn't even leave my house yet. Like, I, I just had calls on calls and then I had to film this video really quick and then... Well, I had to prepare for the video, then film the video, and now I'm posting like a branded content thing. Um, so, sorry about that, but tonight we're actually doing something really, really exciting. Um, we, well, maybe I should probably post this. It's like literally the last thing I have to post, um, and then I can tell you guys, but basically when you like submit your content to a brand, you have to like do the whole mock-up with like all the native like Instagram story text and everything like that and you can't save drafts or like you can but I think you have to have taken the photo or the video in the Instagram app to be able to save it as a draft because like I tried and I it wouldn't let me that would be like game changing because I am having to retype and tag everything over again because I like screenshotted it so it's kind of annoying but that's okay let me just finish this up and then i can tell you guys what we're doing today but anyways okay this weekend we were out with our friends and we well ryan randomly got um like an email notification for a wait list opportunity for sushi bar atx i could like cry thinking about it it doesn't even feel real basically sushi bar atx is like so hard to get a reservation for like Uchiko's probably or Uchi and Uchiko are definitely the most well-known like sushi restaurants here in Austin I would say but Sushi Bar ATX is kind of newer and it's so hard to get a reservation it's this omasaki experience so it's like I don't know how many courses but like so many different courses of nigiri sushi like all these sushi dishes and i have been wanting to try it for so long actually ryan's the one that found out about it through instagram and so he always sends me their stories because their quality of content is amazing too and it just makes my mouth water and so yeah we're going tonight and i hope a tornado doesn't cancel all this because my mouth has been watering all day thinking about it so i'm super pumped about it and that's kind of like why i got ready today it's such a rainy day and if i did not have this reservation it definitely would have been a no makeup admin day but i thought i would just film some content while i have my makeup on so i actually just filmed a video and i had a call with my assistant like i told you guys this morning and we just like went over like some organizational things like i told her you need to yell at me and like tell me to film this video if it's on my content calendar you need to like you know pressure me into doing it because sometimes i'll just be like eh, it's not even that good of a video idea like no one will even care about the video and then like days go by and i'm just like i should have filmed that video like it would have been a good one so i <laughs> just need to actually do what i have on my calendar and not make excuses because i think 
I'm getting all used to making excuses. So another thing about a reservation is that I'm pretty sure they only had slots at 5.30 and 9.30 and the one that we got the waitlist for was at 9.30. So that's going to be interesting eating dinner that late, but it's going to be so freaking worth it. Um, so I have all this time. I'm probably just going to work up until it, honestly, and I need to send the video I just filmed over to my video editor and then we can go from there. So talk to you guys in a bit. Are you ready? <laughs> my new shower. Are you ready for Sushi Bar ATX? No, I already need to shower. Go! You, take you gotta leave soon, I know, go. Basically we've been waiting for uh, a few months now. It's taken a while, a lot of patience. But they heard I was on the list and they were like, Yes sir, we kicked Joe Rogan off the list, you can come. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, I'm the star of the vlog now, so. Look at me holding this camera like a vlogger. I'm so proud of you. It's probably so shaky, I, I can already tell, but you're trying. You're trying, I'm proud. Sorry. Um, Who's right. ready for sushi? Tell the real story of how you found out about Sushi Bar. Also, I just changed my lens because we need a good low light, you know, for all the sushi content. I got you guys. I saw Sushi Bar ETX's Instagram post saying that they had the new, uh, like, exclusive experience or whatever. And they had new wait list time, so I signed up. And uh, luckily, I actually didn't get that because it's $300 a person. Wait, no, but, uh, I'm talking about, like, how you first ever heard of it. Did you see it on the Explore page or something? I saw Joe Rogan meeting there, to be oh, honest. I don't remember. Yeah, it's okay. really random. I have no idea. Maybe yeah. the Explore page. Cool. I hope I'm uh, formal enough. We'll see. Yeah. Cool. All right, we're here. It's just like an unmarked door, apparently. But I'm so excited. I feel like it doesn't feel real because we've been waiting for this for months. They put us in this waiting room because apparently the 5.30 people have not checked out yet. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, it's not a waiting room, it's like, what's it called? Bento? Bento something. But it's like in the back of like this restaurant on East 7th Street, right? 7th? Cesar Chavez, yeah. It's currently 12 a.m. We got home super late because the reservation was only at 9.30 p.m. But I actually kind of liked it because at the end, they kind of like opened up for all a cart so you could kind of get whatever. And they weren't really on a time crunch because if you did it at 5.30, then you would have to like leave before the 9.30 people get there, if that makes sense. So I think it was so worth it and it was definitely would you say it was probably our more, most expensive meal we've ever eaten yeah. together <laughs> yeah so um it was 100 percent worth it and now i like don't know whether i'm like happy that i went or like sad that i went because i know i can't get it every single day of my life which hey i'm manifesting that like i'm manifesting being seth rogan apparently he eats there like every month or so i think that they said i was like i would love that lifestyle <laughs> but it's definitely like a special occasion only kind of dealio um but i have some notes that i took down because i wanted to just say everything that i really liked so my favorite was a scallop it was like sweet and salty and it had this like truffle salt i think but then I ordered another one of those. Um, Ryan actually really liked the unagi, so he ordered another one of those. But the chef, I believe his name was Chef Francis, he decided to give me some like shaved truffle, which usually you have to like pay more for, but he was just like, I'll just give you a little, you know? And it was like the shaved truffle, and I was like, 
I've never eaten anything like this in my life. And it was just like so good. And then the bluefin tuna, it had like everything bagel seasoning with like a kick of wasabi. I'm just like looking at my notes because I like literally <laughs> wrote all this stuff down. I was like, I need to remember this. And then I can't remember how you say it, but it's like so sawar so or something. I've never heard of that fish, but the hamachi had this like fizzy lime salt. I literally looked at Ryan when I said that. I was like, uh, I need that in my kitchen. Don't know what I would use it for, but oh my God, it was so good. And then can we talk about the Wagyu? It's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was so freaking good. Uh, it was just like fatty and like... You know, they told you what it was, right? What? It had to be like 67.7% body fat or something like that to yeah. be considered like that great of wagyu. It was amazing. And we didn't get the bag on or whatever. It was so good. Okay. And then also they were making fresh wasabi, which I've never seen in my life. Never even heard of. I didn't know there was like fresh wasabi, but apparently it's like this actual vegetable fruit kind of thing and you have to like rub it on this textured surface and it makes a paste. I was so shook when I found that out. And sometimes in like, you know, cheaper sushi restaurants, they will turn the horseradish green to like be wasabi, but it's not wasabi. I was like, that's the tea. We had this on rice. <laughs> I can't get sure. over how Sophie, Sophie, we came home and we were like, where's <laughs> Sophie? She like has, you know, her designated hiding spots and she wasn't in any of them. <laughs> Like, where the fuck is Sophie? I was over here by like the guest bathroom and then I like turned around and saw her kind of like scurrying out and I screamed. I literally thought it was like a random rat creature because she does kind of look like a rat sometimes and I, I go and I got scared of my own daughter. Also today it was like raining I told you guys and she like shakes when it rains or even last night the fire alarm was um beeping in the middle of the night and she would not go to sleep she was just like shaking sitting up and we were like just fucking go to sleep because <laughs> she cuddles and she sleeps with us so we like couldn't sleep because she was like shaking in bed but yeah today was like there was like tornadoes and it was just a crazy hailstorm. and then tomorrow is going to be perfectly sunny it's crazy but we're going to go to bed Get some rest. I got a lot of grad shoots tomorrow and it's starting just like the whole rush of grad season. I've been doing like a couple shoots here and there, but tomorrow is like, we're going full force. Happy Tuesday is I think 2 p.m. and I just woke up from a nap because last night after we got home, I was just like doing some work and I think I only went to bed at like 2 a.m. or 1.30 a.m. And I didn't realize how much that would affect me because I actually go to bed at like 10, maybe 11. So it was a pretty late night for me and I'm definitely feeling the consequences today. Um, I went to an early morning shoot. The shoot was at 8 a.m. So not even that early, honestly. And I didn't even work out today because I was like, I think I need some sleep. So I was definitely right about that. And I am trying to edit a video, but I just needed a nap so bad because goodness gracious, I'm so tired. And I don't usually drink coffee, but I was like, Ryan, I think I, think I might have to. So he's making me an espresso and I'm just going to like chug it really quick. Um, usually I get really shaky from coffee though, so... Hopefully that doesn't happen. I do have two grad shoots later today. Um, and so I was going to put on makeup and do a content day. But since I have to edit this video and like don't really have that much time until the next grad shoot, I'm just going to be makeup free today, I think. And today is really exciting because I decided yesterday that I wanted to hire a professional couch cleaner. Um, I love my living room couch. Ryan loves it so much. We bought it on Wayfair and I will try to link it down below if it's in stock. I know that there's like some similar items too, so I'll link them all down below. Um, but it's an amazing couch, so comfortable. And we had it for two and a half years ever since we moved to Austin. Thank you. It's from Bello Bro. That's it. It's very Can sweet. It again or not? Yeah, it's really good. Okay, anyways, I um, decided to get my 
couch professionally clean because it's just like looking really dingy these days and I was like I could bissel it myself but <laughs> we've been putting it off because I'm like okay we're gonna be on the couch all weekend so I don't want it to be wet and like we don't know how fast it's gonna dry but if you get it professionally cleaned I'm pretty sure they take like 90% of the moisture out of it so I don't know how long we'll have to wait until we can use it again but anyways so i got a couple of quotes and ended up going with stanley steamer i just feel like they're a very well-known brand and um their price wasn't horrible so i think they're coming soon they said they would be coming in between a window from like two to six so i wanted to show you guys a quick before clip and then i'll show you guys after once he's done unless it's like too dark which i don't think it will be because i forgot that the sun definitely sets later these days um but actually, never mind. I will be home very much later because I have a grad shoot at sunset. So maybe I'll show you guys the after tomorrow. But I'm really excited about it because I think it'll make the whole living room just like come alive because I just feel like it got, you know, a little less white. I don't think the couch was actually originally white. So I think it was more of an off-white ivory color anyways. It's 4 p.m. and the couch cleaner guy hasn't come yet but we still have like two hours so i'm not really sure when he's gonna be here but i have to go to a grad shoot i have two at ut today and it is so windy outside i do live close to ut but i'm just hoping that the wind is a little bit less there because that is just so frustrating when like the hair is blowing everywhere i almost completed the video i just need to put in like some like pop-ups and like you know link stuff and everything like that and then export it and then post to youtube i'm definitely trying to get more organized so that i can like actually submit my content on time to my video editor so that it can be ready for like posting day but last week we kind of nailed down my schedule and it was kind of just like too late to send in these video clips so i just ended up editing them myself here is the after of the couch and honestly at first glance overall Definitely looks a little bit cleaner, but I just really thought it was going to be a lot whiter. As you can see here, there's still discoloration, and I feel like it didn't really change that much. And I'm just like, I thought, you know, they would get it out. I mean, they are a professional upholster cleaning company, so I'm just confused. And even like over here, I remembered seeing those two spots, and those are still here. And then over here, it's just still like really dingy. And I get that couches aren't going to stay completely white, but I really thought it was going to be a bigger difference. So I'm kind of disappointed because I did spend like a good amount of money on this. I think this is like the worst part though. You can see it more here. And there was like an area where it looked like the machine like stopped, like he did this and you could see him like stopping right here. <laughs> I think it was like somewhere on this Chase couch, but I'm just like, what the heck? I did not pay all that money for it to not be looking like really great over here especially good morning happy wednesday i had a grad shoot this morning so i'm still like parked at ut but i wanted to start the vlog before i go anywhere else and honestly like this is just gonna be my life for the next like three months march april may is grad season so i feel like i'm just gonna be at ut like literally two times a day but i'm trying not to book any more morning sessions because i've realized that like it's just a little too much and i like need to get other work done but it's also hard because like the lighting is so good for a morning session that i'm like i want to book them all and fill up all my slots but i also like was just so exhausted yesterday that like i totally forgot how freaking tiring it is and what's funny is that like i think in last week's vlog i said i want to continue my workout and throughout grad season because i always stop during grad season but now i realize why i stopped because i'm literally so exhausted i looked at my activity app because i'm like wearing my apple watch like a lot more recently and i saw that yesterday i burned more calories than i do when i do my five mile like walk on the treadmill and it was like by like a good amount so that's kind of good because now i don't feel as guilty missing my workout because i just like first of all don't really have that much time to do it and i need my sleep because i've been staying up later and i don't know the whole 6 a.m is just not working for me at the moment i mean i still wake up at like 7 a.m to get here but still it's just not working for me at the moment which sucks because i always get into like my workout phases right before I go into grad season and then I like stop, but at least I'm still getting exercise. So 
I'm trying not to like beat myself up about it and if I don't have a morning shoot which I think next week they're all just like afternoon shoots I'm still gonna try to like work out a little bit at least but honestly walking around UT's campus is a workout in itself because it's like so hilly you're walking up steps you're like you know getting down into these poses when you're taking pictures so so I'm just glad I'm like keeping my activeness going I guess but today we have a lot to do because yesterday I was so exhausted that I like couldn't do as much as I wanted to um but I'm going to go to TJ Maxx because I'm doing a brand partnership with them and it's so cool because I've been getting a lot of opportunities to do more like content creation so meaning like I make the content for their channels but I don't have to post it on mine and the reason why this is great is because the brand already likes my content and so I'm gonna give them content but I don't have the pressure of the content performing well um, because nine times out of ten sponsored content does not perform well and I feel like we all know this because if you see like hashtag ad you're just like not as likely to engage with it so I'm just responsible for making the content and giving it to them and that's it so we're gonna go over to I think it's Sunset Valley TJ Maxx and we're gonna go shopping because they gave us a gift card and I didn't really expect that I don't know why but they gave us a gift card and they were like go crazy spend it all and I was like oh my god like <laughs> this is not gonna be good because I have so much clutter and that's like a whole other story like honestly I could make a whole weekly vlog about cleaning out my house because it's like crazy how much just random shit I have that I have not touched in like months. I tend to be a hoarder sometimes and I need to like chill with that but anyways we're going to TJ Maxx and I'm hoping that they have some really cute clothes because I want to get some like new spring stuff um and yeah I'm really excited and so I'm gonna do that and then I actually have to film a video because since I got a video editor, we kind of came up with a schedule of like when I have to submit my content for her to have enough time to get it back to me. And then I send over edits and then she can get me the final video before like the posting date. So honestly, I just need to get in the hang of it of like having to give her the content by this date and then this date and then this date, you know, lately I've been procrastinating a lot of things and just like overwhelmed in general so I forgot that I was supposed to send content for a video next week and I have like this whole content calendar I can show you guys in another video if I remember but I have a whole content calendar so next week I can see what Tuesday's video is and what Thursday's video is so that I can like make that video in time if that makes sense so I need to film a video and then I'm meeting my friend Natasha at 12 at manana to get some matcha and just catching up because she moved back she like moved to Canada and then she she moved back I'm so bad and sometimes like I just don't get to like all of my stories so I didn't even realize she moved back and I was like what the heck like <laughs> I thought she was just visiting um so we're gonna catch up and then what else is on the agenda oh obviously like grad shoots and yeah so got a busy day and I feel like another reason why I don't want to do like morning shoots again is because I feel like the time between the morning shoots and the afternoon shoots is just like not enough and I am just like always so flustered whenever I have like the sandwich time that I have to like do all my shit in. So let's head to TJ Maxx and go shopping. I'll probably vlog on my iPhone. wagon out because the bags were just so big and I couldn't carry them all back to my apartment but I'm gonna show Ryan what I got so I thought I would just like film and show you guys as well let's do it all right I guess we'll start with the clothes look mm -hmm. little romper situation jumpsuit whatever mm -hmm. it's like a cutout right. ball <gasps> mommy got you new balls yeah egg pan ice cubes more cereals in these, babe. Your socks. Ooh. Or wait, maybe these are my socks. But why are you laughing? Cheers. We don't have these. Garlic presser. Ooh. Boy socks. Yeah, both. yeah. Clipper and then some essential oils. I got a diffuser. A little strainer that attaches to the pot. I got some macaroons. Some eye 
uh, shadow brushes, some skincare. I got these like fruit veggie covers and I thought that would be cool. And then I got these peelers because ours are really shitty. <laughs> and some hair clips because you literally can never have enough. So I got this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Intensive Lip Balm. New hairbrush because it was cute. And then this mask I've never tried. It's by Dr. Jart. And it has like the little face thing on top. And I am so excited about this. Look at this, babe. Perfect glass. Streak free glass and mirror cleaner. Whoa, so clean. Very cool, isn't it? We've been struggling because I don't know what the fuck to use on the mirrors. And it's been so streaky. <laughs> look, look, this could be your gift too. He loves these little wafer things. Those are really yummy. Got some lashes. All right, I got this really, really soft, like, hoodie thing, like, just, like, a long sleeve. Got a cute little dress. Look how cute it is. This is a cool, cool girl set right here. It's, like, a little bandeau, and then it says Long Beach, California on the sweatshorts, and these are, like, oh, no! I think I just did this. Crap. What? It's, like, all dirty and stuff. Okay, well, I guess I have to wash that. Ceramic top cooktop cleaner and then I got this rosemary mint kitchen mm -hmm. refresher and odor eliminator mm -hmm. cute towels kitchen towels and these are you know definitely my aesthetic when I saw this I literally screamed inside because my sister actually showed me these when I was like in college and I got obsessed with these but these are not very cheap at Sephora they're the Dr. Jart like rubber masks and I was trying to search for more because I would have gotten like five but this is like the one I'm used to. So this one's for brightening the face with vitamin C. And then I'm really excited, babe, because I got fridge organizers, finally. I've been wanting them since like two years ago. I think I was gonna ask for them for Christmas, but then I was like, I'll get something else. Um, Cause that's not really a fun Christmas gift, but I got some and then this is like a mandolin slicer, another fridge organizer. And then I got another one of these like cereal containers, got some chip clips because you don't have that many every time you need one, I can't find one. And then I realized that there was supposed to be one here and there's not. So that's kind of sad, but this one is a produce crisper. It just like keeps your fruit and veggies like lasting longer. I got Italian blend spice just because I don't think I had this in the pantry and I remember a recipe calling for it so I had to get this. This is a hand soap and I thought it was stunning packaging so I thought that would be fun and it smells really good. This also rosemary mint and then I got some body lotion just because I have like body lotion in one of the bathrooms but then it's kind of annoying to like go and get it from the other so I just thought I would get it for that one. And then, and then I got more fridge organizers and that is the TJ Maxx haul. I definitely went a little crazy and now it's time to put all this stuff away. Hopefully I have space for it. It's 2 p.m. and I just got ready, did my makeup and hair because I have some content to do and I needed my makeup and hair done. And if it was up to me, it definitely would have been another no makeup day, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So I'm about to film a video all about my caraway pans, that pan right there. I've been really, really loving them and they are so beautiful and they even have like this whole organization thing in um, the cabinet that comes with like the whole bundle set, which is really cool. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and film a video on that. I'm gonna kind of compare it to the Always Pan. The video is not sponsored. They gifted it to me and I tried to read the contract to see if like I wasn't supposed to name like competitors, but it didn't say anywhere in there that I wasn't so I'm gonna do a video and just talk about like the differences then I also have to take a thumbnail photo because I forgot to do it the other day when I was filming like the grad dress video so got a lot of content coming y'all's way and I'm trying to get back into the rhythm of posting three times a week just because I have so many video ideas and now that I hired an editor I am thinking I'll just edit one a week and then she'll edit the two a week so I'm really excited about it and I cleaned down the whole kitchen it's so funny because like all my mess is like on this side of the kitchen so it won't be shown in the video uh, but I really need to like figure this out and like decide where I'm gonna put everything and like also my filming room is still a mess and I told you guys it wasn't gonna get done that one day but it is gonna get done this week on Friday I don't have any shoots and I don't think I have anything going on so it's gonna be like dedicated to probably just like cleaning up and stuff oh wait I have one shoot in the morning but that's not a big deal um I'm gonna change this lens and then get to filming everything I got from TJ Maxx is just 
everywhere around my house. So tried to find you guys a little bit of a clean spot. I don't know. I'm just like usually not like a slob, but these past few weeks have been crazy, especially the start of South by Southwest. That's when it all went downhill. But I just took my thumbnail, so I put this top back on. And now I wanted to do an unboxing of more Glow Recipe stuff. I'm pretty sure I unboxed this on the last week's vlog, but they sent me even more stuff. And I was like, okay, like I'm never going to say no to more skincare products, especially from Glow Recipe. They sent me another one of their creams. So this is like the best cream I've ever probably tried. This is the Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream. And it is just so good and moisturizing. I realized I talked about it twice in last week's vlog, but that's how good it is. I wanted to tell you guys that much. This one is the serum. I guess I should just go ahead and unbox everything. Um, oh, where'd the lighting go? It was like so good for a second. Come on. Where are you at, son? Okay, so this is actually the first Glow Recipe product I ever tried. And I was recommended this from a lady at Sephora. So this is the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum. This came before the cream. Um, and what else? Outside of those two products, I don't think I've tried anything else. Ooh, okay, but they are a pretty well-known brand, so I've heard a lot about their products. Ooh! Yes, okay, the watermelon products I've definitely heard a lot about slash seen on like TikTok. So this one is the Watermelon Glow Pore Tight Toner. Sounds very fancy. Hot take, papaya is nasty. <laughs> I am a big foodie and I usually eat everything, but papaya low-key smells like throw up. So I'm gonna smell this and if it smells like throw up, I'm gonna have to give it to a friend. But, I mean, papaya is a beautiful fruit. It just, the smell is not there. Okay, this is papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm. That sounds so good. Okay, please God, please God, don't make it smell like throw up. Oh, it doesn't smell like that. It definitely smells like fruity, but not, not the bad part of a papaya. So that's good. And it's beautiful. Okay, what else is in here? Also, I just had like one press on pop off, but this has probably been the longest I've had static nails on before. They're lasting like a really long time, but it was just like popped off a little bit. So they're probably gonna fall off soon. This is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. That looks so cool. I kind of want to put this on my face right now because I feel like I want a little refresh. This lighting man, like in midday, it just like goes in and goes out and I'm just like, can you just make up your mind? That would be great. Okay, this is something I've definitely seen on TikTok. Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Very cool. I'm gonna have to look up like what, well, also I can just read the packaging. <laughs> so I'm gonna save the packaging and look at it later. Um, but I wanna look and see like what exactly everything does because I feel like whenever I go into Sephora, I love hearing like the behind the story of each product or like what it's actually going to do for my skin. Um, and then lastly, we have the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. Perfect. Okay, this is so exciting. It is currently 4 p.m. I killed it. I filmed a video. I took the thumbnail picture. I sent out some emails. I feel bad because my assistant today has been texting me and I have kind of just like not been on my phone too much because I'm just like trying to get everything done before I have to go to my grad shoot. And also I didn't go to the coffee shop because Natasha had to reschedule and I was able to get a lot done with the time I had. But now I have to change, head back out to UT and do two more shoots. Then tomorrow I think I have a morning shoot and two more shoots in the afternoon and then I'm done for the week. So just trying to push through. Honestly, like I think I said this before or maybe I just said it to Ryan. It's so hard to like remember what you said in the vlogs, but I feel like doing these grad shoots is almost like a workout routine because, well, also, yes, I am working out, but like also because like the drive to there, it's not that far away. It's literally like 15 minutes max, but the drive to there is just like, oh, gotta drive. Like, and I have to like get in the car a little bit earlier just to make sure I get a parking spot and I'm on time. So that part is kind of like dreadful. But once you get there and once I start shooting, I'm just like, oh, I fucking love this so much. So I am going to just take a breather really quick, change, and go back out to UT. It's almost 8 p.m. Just got home from my shoots, and my stomach was, like, not feeling great. And I was like, will I even make it through these shoots? I'm glad I made it home in one piece, but 
It is time to check if the chicken is thawed. Ooh, okay, I feel like we're good. I think it's thawed. I think I'm gonna do some green curry with rice and chicken and all the goods tonight. Um, and Sophie's telling me to feed her, so I'm gonna do that. Today has been like a very busy day. And I'm very ready to get in bed. Yesterday was like amazing because I got in bed like before 9.30 or no, I think it was like 10, but it still felt really nice to be in bed. I know dinner's gonna take a little bit. So I'm eating a snack and I am severely addicted to seaweed now because it's the perfect salty snack and it's like incredibly low calorie, but like, so I just love the saltiness and I wanna buy the teriyaki one next time because I tried it in like a goodie bag that I got from one South by Southwest event and I loved it. It was so good. This is just like regular seaweed, like roasted seaweed, but highly, highly recommend if you guys like salty and savory foods. This looks like this and you pop it in. So good. Dinner is made. I did green curry and I did some right rice and I think this is gonna be my second time eating it. I just did their original flavor, so I think it should be very yummy. Good morning, happy Thursday. It is actually not the morning. It's about to turn 2 p.m. But this morning I had an early morning grad shoot and then I came home and just did some edits and took a nap because honestly, I don't even give a shit anymore. Like I need my sleep, especially after South by Southwest. I'm like, I just need to like catch up, get my sleep literally where I can. So that's what I've been doing and I'm trying not to feel guilty about it, but sometimes it's hard when you do have shit to do. But I'm going to put on some makeup and film some TikToks because I've been slacking on my TikTok and I feel like it's growing. Like my last video, I was just talking about why I stopped doing 12, 3.30. So I'm gonna um, link my TikTok down below if you guys are interested in why I stopped. I think I put it in my last video actually. But anyways, um, that one went viral and it didn't even have a trending sound. So I was like, ooh, this is interesting. Cause I always feel like I have to have like some kind of a trending sound on top. Um, so I want to create more TikToks and just really be consistent with it because I know that's like the only way to grow. And I definitely have like number goals for like all my platforms. And I feel like TikTok can hit my number goal and probably surpass it by the deadline that I have in my brain. So I'm going to go get ready so I can have like a few hours just to create content. And honestly, I need to do some like hauls. I want to like show on my Instagram stories my Vici stuff that I got sent. And then what else do I have? Oh, I have a lot of like Amazon stuff that I could create content about. And I just have it laid out all around this like freaking room because I don't want to forget about it and not like make content with it. So if I do the content, then I can actually clean up this room. And that is the goal of the week <laughs> to have like an actually clean apartment. I swear like my cleanliness just went downhill after South by. I don't know why, but I feel like I've stayed busy since then. Um, so I just have not truly really had much time to do it. So I'm gonna go get ready and I will be doing an everyday makeup routine very soon because the Sephora sale is happening on April 1st, so not too far away. So I'm gonna be uploading that within like the next few weeks. But right now I'm gonna go get ready fast. I've actually like tried to like really speed up my makeup routine, kind of proud of myself. So let's do it. Okay, already except for my lips. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been really liking recently. This has been my new favorite brown lip liner. It's the Makeup by Mario lip liner in Travis. I guess so. Also, my static nails have finally started to pop off and I'm just kind of like waiting for them to all do the same thing because I don't want to like rip them off and then I can just like hopefully do them tomorrow, like put on new press-ons. Um, but these lasted so freaking long and the other static nails did not. So that's good, but I do still think that they're really, really thin and I just think I prefer Olive and June still to this day. Okay, looking good and then I apply some Dibs Beauty lip gloss it's just like a clear lip gloss and I 
feel like it is such a good combo. Just filmed a Vici haul on my Instagram stories, but I wanted to show you guys the favorite. I always save the favorite for last. This is like a tiered linen dress, and I feel like this is going to be perfect for those days that we go to the pool, have to get ready really fast, and then we go to dinner, and honestly, it's always glorious downtown. It's just like the best, and you don't have to have a reservation. It's Latin food, and there's nothing like having like chips salsa guac that whole dealio after a pool day so we always go there get margaritas and i just literally cannot wait i think this saturday is going to be like 90 degrees we're planning on going to barton swings pool so that will be fun i'll definitely try to vlog this weekend i don't think i've done a weekend vlog in a while i think i'm gonna have this for lunch it's currently like 3 30 and i need to leave by 4 so i'm gonna scarf this down and try to film one more TikTok and be on my way to UT. I'm about to head out to a grad shoot. Yesterday, I left a little too late, so I learned my lesson, but this is my outfit. Usually, I'm literally looking like so crappy when I go there and in like active wear, but I'm gonna get drinks and bites with my friend, my photographer friend, Yvonne. We met at South by Southwest and she actually does seniors here, but she just moved to Dallas, but she's in town to do some seniors. So we're gonna meet up and get some food. So this is my outfit. I got this from TJ Maxx. These shorts are from Topshop, literally my favorite, so comfortable. And then shoes are from Reebok. Let's do this. It's 6.32 and I just had one grad session and then um, I usually text my grads like a week before just to like make sure the locations are all good and like I always assume that these grads are all UT grads but this girl was just, I wanna say she's a senior so these are just senior photos and I didn't realize that so I had to drive to Auditorium Shore so I had to make sure that there was like enough time to drive um, but like I said, I just assume everyone is just graduating from UT that reaches out. So that was totally my bad. But I'm just now realizing that it is currently, what is it, March 25th or something? March 24th. And I will be in Italy like in less than a month. And that is crazy to me because I have not planned one single thing. And I'm just like stressed out because I've told myself like I put it on my calendar like so many days in a row. Like plan Italy trip, plan Italy trip. And I never got around to it. So definitely kind of stressing out right now. Um, but I know it's going to be great. And I'm hoping that there's still Airbnbs left and just like accommodations because we haven't even booked that. So yeah, so definitely gonna be interesting, but I'm very excited for all of the Italy content. I went to Rome and Venice. Well, I studied abroad in Rome for like two weeks and it was actually with that EF tours um, company, but I did the one that you learned Italian and learned about the culture and stuff. So I had class pretty much every single day. So I only had one weekend to explore other cities and stuff. So the friends that I met on that trip, we all chose to go to Venice and we just did like a day trip. And I thought I hit it all, but now people are telling me to like spend a couple days in Venice and I'm like, it's so small. So I, I don't understand, but maybe I'll spend two days in Venice because I feel like that's also a more romantic place and Ryan's coming with me. So I feel like that will be really fun. But if you guys have any Italy recs, please let me know. I'm going to go to Positano. So I don't know if I should do like a day trip to Capri or anything around Positano, like day trip wise, um, cause that stay is already booked. All of Positano, I'll be there for like a week-ish, I think. And then I'm gonna go to Florence, I think right after, and then probably Venice and then Rome because we're gonna fly out of Rome. So if you guys have any recs, please DM me on Instagram. I'm gonna like screenshot all of them and like make an album on my um, phone, but yeah, still freaking out cause I'm just a planner and this is just like so unlike me. got out of the shower I took the shower washed my hair and everything because I am going to an event tomorrow at 10 a.m. and I thought maybe it's better to just like get the washing done today um, but I just heated up some of the leftovers from yesterday did some green curry some white rice and white rice is like a little bit lower in calories definitely healthier I know that for sure and it actually tastes really good so I tried their original this time and it was pretty good and i'm gonna upload photos probably edit photos i need to do that for sure and then probably call it a night i definitely want to be in bed really early tonight and then i also have to take out the trash because 
we forgot to last night and there's like so many boxes i don't know why but just like random boxes a lot of recyclables so gotta get that done but i will talk to you guys in the morning and i'm really excited for that event because it's going to be at abba and just like around stoco which is definitely one of my favorite places so talk to you guys in the morning woke up in the middle of the night i thought i was like done with my shoots for the whole week until sunday i have like a couple shoot on sunday but i thought i was done and i woke up and felt the urge to check my calendar i don't know why but i saw that i had a grad shoot at 7 45 a.m and usually they start at 8 so today's was earlier and i didn't realize i had a grad shoot until 3 a.m then i realized that the grad shoot was only ending 30 minutes before i had to go to an event so i decided to get up really early and get ready i had to like do my hair because it was like wet from last night did my makeup and got ready so we did it and now i'm gonna go head over to ut last night i think i told you guys that i was gonna get happy hour with uh, my friend yvonne but she had like really bad allergies and so we just ended up just like rescheduling for when she gets back in town in april and today's event is on south congress at music lane and then ryan really wants to go to the dell match play he's really into golf as you guys all know and so all of like the famous golfers are going to be like playing each other. I don't even know how it works to be honest, but we might go to that too. It's 17 and we just ended the grad shoot, the only grad shoot I have, and now I am done for the weekend. I like feel so bad. I mean, she didn't really know that I forgot about it, but I feel bad that I forgot about it. Um, I mean, I still like went at the right time and stuff, so all good in the hood but i am kind of like hungry i found this like random chewy bar in my camera bag so i'm gonna probably scarf this down before heading over to the event i know they're gonna give us brunch but i am just a little bit hungry so and usually i don't get really hungry in the mornings like i used to never be a breakfast girl like especially when i was growing up my mom would always make me eat breakfast and i would like refuse just because i was not hungry at all but then of course like a few hours later my stomach would be grumbling i'm a little worried about today just because since i got up so early i feel like i'm gonna have a bad crash like i'll need a nap but i think we're gonna like i said try to go to that dell match play thing and i'm pretty sure that's all day or like go whenever and then like stay however late you want so I'm gonna need probably a lot of energy drinks today. I'm home from the event and it was so fun. I got some goodies from Chanel and Music Lane, but we are in a rush because I swear, every time I go to these events, I like have to force myself to leave. The whole house is a mess. I wanted to like come home and clean a little bit, but don't have time for that. We have to go to the Dell match play. Ryan like really wants to check it out and see if we can get in or like if we need to buy a ticket or what. Um, so we're gonna go over there and I guess this Friday vlog is definitely gonna be all iPhone because I just don't want to bring my camera all the way over there and worry about it. So roll the clips. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm excited. It's, um, See all your favorite golfer matches, guys? Uh, yeah, a few of them are out. Some of the top players in the world are already out. So, so I think we want some good matches. The lift could only drop us off like two at minute walk, you said. 15? It's a two minute walk. Oh, I heard two too. I was like, oh my God, 15. <laughs> Well, I guess 15 is not that bad, but still. Yeah. Wow. Well, I was just thinking, like, it must suck to, like, live in this neighborhood during this time. But also, I guess if you're into golf, you'd probably live here. So maybe it'd be a good thing. <laughs> but sure. we still need to buy tickets. So how much did you see, say they were? Around, like, 
think like 185 for today. Yeah. Were they more expensive? Cheaper. Were they more expensive cheaper. tomorrow? Yeah, they'll be more expensive tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. We got this. your favorite person that you saw? <clears throat> uh, honestly watching like Patrick Reed, Paul Moore, Cow has like a swing that I want to copy so it's cool to see in real life. Yay! And then uh, who else was cool? Like and you got some cool merch. Yeah, and I have a new favorite golfer, Jordan Spieth. I was, yeah, Spieth was cool too. But we didn't see Daddy Coca. Wait, is that what people call it? <laughs> or is that no, us? No. Oh, <laughs> well, never mind. But yeah, we didn't see him. <laughs> Yeah, we're treating ourselves and treating me yeah. for being a good girl. Yeah, we treat ourselves a lot, <laughs> but we're going to Sushi Jinai. Just got home from dinner and Sushi Jinai is just so good. Like, I'm in love with that place. It's just such a good deal for all you can eat and you can get literally anything on the menu which is amazing and i think my favorite things are definitely their nigiri some of their rolls and then even the appetizer like their spiced tuna crispy rice is chef's kiss so definitely try if you guys are in the austin area but i'm gonna end my week in my life here i hope you guys enjoyed watching i know this week was kind of like all over the place because i just had a lot of grad shoots and that was definitely priority this week um but next week what is my hair it's just full of like sweat honestly because i was wearing that hat today but um next week i don't have morning shoots so i'll actually be able to have a little bit more of a life um but honestly i'm not complaining because i got so much exercise this week actually starting to feel a little bit toned i'm like this is perfect because i'm actually going on vacation soon so i'm like wanting to lose a little bit of weight um but if you guys are not already following me on my instagram go ahead and follow me over there i post a lot of instagram stories try to keep you guys as updated as possible I'll also on TikTok. Both of them are at so underscore gnarly without the G. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.